It's been more than three years in which Brexit hasn't happened and voters are understandably, especially the voters who voted to leave, are very frustrated that this has been dragging on. Boris Johnson managed to reach an agreement with the Irish government and with the EU about a withdrawal agreement to allow us to leave the EU at least and uh, the initial withdrawal and he could then sell this to the electorate. Vote for me, give me a majority in Parliament and this will happen. And it is a credible claim because the likelihood is, given the majority is now won, we probably will be leaving the EU at the end of January. Obviously the Conservative Party has appealed to voters that were attracted by leaving the European Union, often with a very socially conservative message. That suggests a move to the right, especially on issues like immigration. Uh, but on the other hand, at the same time, he's appealing to voters in relatively poor, declining, uh, economically vulnerable parts of the UK, which of course would imply a, a, an economic policy which is a little bit more centre-left. Uh, in you know, channeling money from the vibrant economy in the southeast towards these left behind areas. So it's a very difficult uh, balance to strike. And again, I, it's very hard to call because Boris is in some ways an unknown quantity. I think it's probably a bit unfair to blame it all on Corbyn. Corbyn has a particular strategy, uh, which is that Labour should be a party anchored on the left that it should go for, uh, uh, go for voters who don't really have much time for capitalism and the free market, and he should advocate instead much more government involvement in the economy, more public spending, and more taxation of the rich to spend on everyone else. Um, and uh, this strategy has not paid off.